Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So today's the day. We're going to make a big challenge here. We're going to be trying to take out 1,000 points of Orcs, taking on 2,000 points of Tyranids. Uh, I'm going to start with the basic army that I have, the 1,000 point army that I'd like. I think I could make some changes to make it a bit better against the Tyranids, but I'm going to give this one a shot. I'm just going to keep recording until I get a version that uh, works, and we'll upload that one. So I might not even upload this video, depending on how the battle goes. So we'll see. This is the first try. We'll run it out. It's a pretty standard orc army. Uh, we are going to fight on an open aerial. We'll be fighting to the death. So the salt something or other map will be the one we'll be doing. So for Tyranids, we want the same army we've been fighting, which is this one has upgraded rifles on the Tyranid Warriors, upgraded guns on the Termagants, um, a couple other scouts and stuff. The Exocrines are probably going to be the hardest thing to deal with. We will see how that goes. Just make sure I get the right army. There we go. So I don't have too many leaders in here. Unfortunately, just the pain boy. So hopefully that will be fine. Uh, salt exchange. That's the word I was looking for. In we go. Yeah, so the uh, AI often wants to target things that are out front and close. So that's what the Gretchen are good for. They're kind of expendable. Um, I can throw them out front as a screen. They get some extra health from the pain boy. If they decide to target the pain boy, that's a bit more of a problem. Um, we've got a couple of the Ludus to engage at long range. We've got a couple Orcs for a bit more firepower up close. I might want to just try to pick stuff off at range and try to get them to come in at me, but that sort of invites the Exocrines to just blast me from range, which is a bit of a problem. If I rush forward like I would normally want to do with Orcs, I don't think it'll work that well. I think I'm going to have to kind of rely early on on the uh, Shooters, Ludus, uh, and uh, just killing anything that comes into my general direction. So we'll make an advance. Got the creepy Hellraiser chains on this map, so uh, yeah. I think we'll stay to the open side on the left. Kind of bunch up and advance. So I think that's kind of the plan. Um, I might keep some of the guys more forward than I would normally. So normally I would want a Gretchen screen in front of everybody, but we might want to just... Um, spread out and try to get shots on everybody. Uh, the range on the Pain Boy's ability is two, so everyone's got to be within two tiles to get the armor, uh, actually health bonus, not armor bonus. So let's just put a giant pile of Gretchen out front. That's kind of the deal. We could even go multiple thick if we wanted to. Um, we're going to have to kind of scatter around some of the terrain as we advance, that's unfortunate. So only out to about here is it effective. Anything past that is not. So what I'm going to do... Let's keep... You guys to the center. And we'll sort of... Keep you guys back, but we'll try to advance up. These guys don't move very fast anyway. You're protected. You're the only one not covered, so we could kind of do like a blob, sort of like this. Uh, we'll try to stay grouped up so that we get that health bonus. Oh, thank God, could stitch that back. Not gonna see much here initially. We'll just kind of advance Grunt, away. The Gretchen yes, are fairly boss, quick. Some of the other guys are not. So this first yes, turn, we're just gonna boss, rush ahead. Then we'll try to get back in position. Oh, she's best. Let's go, lads! Because these guys, being all heavily armored, are very, Moving very closer to the scrap. Let's put you there-ish, sure. What's the plan? Shooters also are a bit slow. Uh, if we have to, we'll move. Yeah, just go there. So I don't think we're going to see anything here. I am concerned they might target the pain boy. As long as he ignores the pain boy, shoots the Gretchen out front, we'll be in pretty good shape. But it'll be a little while before I make contact. We'll probably want to pick a spot where we want to line up. Maybe there-ish. And just kind of wait and engage. Because um, some of the stuff's going to rush forward. Like the gargoyles are going to come out ahead. The gene stealers are probably going to come out ahead. We want to kill that stuff at range. Nice. The exocrines will get shots though. And the exocrine shots are really what I'm concerned about. I can do some healing. Uh, there's also a Turvagon in this army that's going to make more baby Termagants, which is kind of a hassle. We'll have to chase it down eventually. 
Um, let's see. How far up do I want to go? You guys can only get Kevin. three. So for right now, we might want to line up right there. And just yes, kind of hold boss. position so that everybody's kind of available to do something. Okay, so ideal position will be here. Ready a sore bones. That spot right there is where we want you, so we get the nice health bonus and everybody. Let's bring in extra Gretchen wherever. Yes, boss. Where are I? These guys are still a bit slow, so we'll just kind of put them in Overwatches wherever. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, just go. Let's go, lads! Ideally, we'd kind of stay wide left Blue with these guys because the of the range. Shooters. So we'll shift one of you over. Just so we have vision back this way. Alright, now is the process of setting up a whole bunch of overwatches. So, you guys, the optimal range is five. Which is right there. We'll push it a little bit. Three bit. more holes in them than the war boss's plans. Oh, sorry, boss. I thought it was actually six on those guys. We're going to set up at six. You guys, it's only two. Uh, okay, boss. Forever is fine. These guys can actually shoot relatively effectively, but they want to stay pretty close. Boys coming closer! Oxy's best! So I don't know that we're going to see anything here, but you never know. Gretchen also want to shoot point blank range, can shoot a little further. Just set them all up at two. Because I don't think anything's going to come any closer than that. Like I said, we might just want to sort of stay about here ish. We could maybe push up to this line, would probably be as far as I would want to go. But if we stay about here, we've got a little bit of cover. We could kind of take the long range shots with the shooters a little bit that direction. The only one with an action point there left is a pain boy. He can't do anything. Can't overwatch. Just has a close combat weapon. More of them? Oh no! More of them? Oh no! How are you shooting no, when you can't even see? <laughs> like, I can't even see any of your units. There's no way you should be able to see me to get shots. I feel like the AI has a vision buff or something. Like, at the very least, run some guys. <laughs> Already a couple no. gene stealers down. No, oh, no. Gretchen are very chatty today, apparently. Okay, some on the other side, which I'm not too concerned about. Here come the gargoyles. Coming right for us! Okay, so much for that squad. If those are coming straight in, they should get shot to pieces depending on how far they come in. Lots of Gretchen pistol fire. Nice. Okay, so Gretchen eliminated. One of the Gene Stealer squad slightly hit. Do I want to advance? We could definitely advance up one without too much trouble. Let's go ahead and just hit you at range here. I'll save my abilities for more dangerous things. So you're gone. Ready to fight. Okay, there's the Trigon. Trigon could do a lot of damage to me if he comes in. So, yeah, we'll just overwatch here. Is there anything else? Maybe I can shift you over. I don't think we can get a good shot, though. Yeah, we'll just kind of hang out here. Let's 
keep these guys at two range to shoot with their little pistols. They do shoot a lot, Gun so gas! theoretically some of it will land. Might want to watch the flank here too. You want, boss? Anything else? Just them. Okay, what I will do, shift you over to watch that direction. No fucking about! Staying at optimal range. Well, Bring you up so there's no gaps. We'll the Trigon could come up in a gap somewhere and do some damage, so I, I don't want to leave any gaps here if I can avoid it. Let's do... It's fine, I guess. Positioning's not super awesome here. Yeah? Whoa! Let's get you over Let's here. Let's go, well. lads! Watching a bit close. Don't bother us! So these guys really want to get up into close combat range and eat stuff, but that's going to be kind of later. We want to sort of... Uh, survive in the meantime doing as much as possible to just kill anything that heads our general direction there's more gene stealers out there there's the trigon um any of that kind of stuff is what we want to kind of deal with i can't take shots they're really awful but i feel like that's kind of a waste five is right there we'll push it a little further although he's probably just going to burrow in and come forward Often you God can well to the back. Way. Stay here so everyone gets their nice health bonus. What needs killing? Now, for you, I could break you off, but they're not really close enough for me to really worry about that yet. So, I'm just going to sort of watch. Closer. With a bit more firepower out on that edge in case they do kind of try to rush in. Guys, he's coming at us! So if I was going to change his army, I would probably take out the regular orc boys, swap out... I think I can get a biker, and then I could upgrade the... Okay, nice miss there. Uh, I could upgrade the shooters' guns to the las cannon variants. Okay, that's bad. The range on the Tyranid Warriors might be... bad enough. We're gonna have a hard time dealing with them. Because if they kill stuff, they get extra actions just like that. They can just keep shooting and shooting a couple times every turn. And I can't really survive just weathering that. I need to do something about that. It does take a bunch of actions. Even all those attacks still didn't wipe out that one Gretchen squad. But there's still Exocrins. The Trigon? We kill the Trigon, then maybe we can end the Gene Stealers. Then maybe we can end the Gene Okay. So we're running amok here all over the place. Okay. So that's another Gene Stealer squad down. Trigon went way right, which is bizarre. And those guys get wiped out. Alright, so Gene Stillers are done. Trigon coming on the flank. That doesn't invite an Overwatch attack. Smacking them, alright. Yeah, we kill the Trigon, then maybe we make a move forward. Because we don't want to... Oh, there's more Gene Stillers. <laughs> If I have any more shots, I can throw with them. Okay, yeah, the open ground has just been a way for us to wipe out a bunch of the basic stuff. Yeah, they're wasting these big shots on Gretchen, which is great. That's really helpful for me. Uh, Trigon, you are a bit of trouble. If I move... Then I can get these guys involved in that. Rats, you can to not move away. Okay, that's too bad. You 
can move back without doing attack because we're at an angle. But that means that these guys also can't attack because it's an angle, which is unfortunate. So I can kind of invite these guys to get attacked and just sacrifice them. But I mean, they're Gretchen. Yes, That's yes, kind of what they're there for. Away. Just absolutely just wreck that one dude. Yeah. Moving closer to the Come on up. So our attack, not going to kill him. Let's go for our hit him harder ability. Still not going to kill him, so we might want to try to soften him up a little bit. At the very least, the boys here can do some damage. Is that what I want to do? You guys have shots. 56, 56. Maybe we'll start trying to work on the warriors. Oh, the hive tyrant's back there too. That's another bad thing. Okay. Boys, let's go ahead. I mean, it's 60 to 120 damage. Let's get stuck in! Do that. It's now 120 to 180. Give him some Okay, so armor negates some of that. Oh, do the same here. I just want to kill him so he doesn't actually have any retaliation attacks against my knobs. Nice, good job. So 108. Yeah, absolutely no problem wiping you out. Okay, we clear the gene stealers. We're actually pretty free to advance. Nobody's really taken any general damage. Okay, so I did have to use both boys, so we can use you guys and all the Gretchen to shoot the crap out of the Gene Stealers. That's probably enough. Whatever you want, boss. We'll start advancing here. You're already in position, so uh, open Let fire! Him have it! <laughs> Sorry? You're not going to survive very long. I do have more movement here. Mega knobs! Raise knobs, but dead shiny. Yes, you're very pretty. Grats, ready to fight. Man, the gene stealers just going down to Gretchen. Let him have it. <laughs> okay. How about you fill in here, because these guys are pretty wrecked. That'll probably finish them off. Nice. Now the question is, do I really want to push here? I can, that's for sure. Yes, boss! Right away! How far up do I have to go? So, another space forward, which means my front line has to go forward again, and I can get optimal shots off of the warriors. Is that a bright idea? Not really. Whatever you want, boss. But that's what we're going to do, because we've got the movement. Put these weak guys out front, hopefully they'll invite attacks. Yes, boss! Right away! Just the Gretchen are here to just suck up attacks. Don't bother us! Get shot to pieces. They need to kind of screen for the knobs so we get forward. Yes, yes. So... Put you here... What needs killing? You guys head up. I could take some decent shots there, actually. Out of range for the Tyranid Warriors, though. So I can move up, shoot, and then move back. I don't know if it'll let me move diagonally back, but I'm going to see. Maybe we can cycle in here. 
So extra shots with armor piercing. Let's go ahead and do it. Tyranid warriors, of course, are the priority. I don't think it really matters which one I go for. They're both bad. Who's going to argue with us, eh? Good job. Two of them dead. Yeah, we can't get out diagonally. Nice. Nothing. Although that's kind of where I want you to be, to be giving everyone a health bonus. Um, What's the plan? That's a bit of an issue. Here is still fine. So let's go ahead and put you there before I forget. Just so everybody's within two tiles, yeah. Well, if we have to, we'll move. Okay, these guys won't be able to leave this position. We're going to do that again. We're going to hit this other squad. Just to reduce the number of guns shooting at me. And again, we pick off two, leaving one fairly hurt. Very, very good results. Now, I can go ahead and make shots... ...with... ...nothing. Uh, I thought these guys were in range, but... ...yeah, it was the Termigans I can shoot at if I want to. Yeah, I feel like the Hive Tyrant's gonna give me some trouble. But we've removed a lot of... I mean, four Tyranid rifles gone is pretty darn helpful. Crots, ready to find. Not sure where I want you guys. Let's stick you there. Yeah? Whoa. Come up on the flank. I don't think anything's really heading that way. This is just some termagants and stuff. I mean, it's starting pretty well, but the Hive Tyrant coming in at me is going to be a bit of trouble. So we still have these other Gretchen. There's really not much I can do with them. Uh, we'll just kind of overwatch the back here in case the Hive Tyrant wants to fly over me or anything. I'm actually going to have you turn sure around in off. case the Hive Tyrant comes in behind. There's nobody that needs healing here yet, which is good. So it just leaves these guys. I think... I mean, we can maybe kill a couple Termagants. That's a few less shots coming my way. Or we save the Overwatch to do some damage. What's liable to get hit? Uh, Hive Tyrant's gonna fly in, probably. Both Exocrines are kind of in position here. Two's optimal, which is right there. Let's push it out to three. We'll just try to cover the advance a little bit. And you're gonna cover the back. So we are going to get shot a bit here, for sure. The Hive Tyrant may get super aggressive, or may just try to pick guys off in range. Or, you know, give everybody a bunch of momentum, I think. I'll take a long-range shot at somebody. Shoot a Gretchen! Yeah, nice, he shot a Gretchen. Understandable for them to do that, because they do get the free action if they kill stuff. Then they go for more Gretchen, which is totally fine. Yeah, only one of them, not nearly so bad. Exocrines can be bad though, could wipe a squad if they hit with certain shots. Like that. I think that squad just got wiped. Yep. He did get a surge, but the AI sometimes just doesn't use their surges. I don't know why. Uh, I still got an action for that. That's too bad. Okay, so lost a couple Gretchen squads, understandable. Probably take another shot here from that Exocrine. Six 
spring shoots. God Ooh. closer. Going for my pain boy, not you. nice. So they walked into that, we mauled them pretty good. The pain is in your mind. Quite a lot of it actually. Nope, oh, we do have some flanking termagants over there. Maybe send some boys over to deal with that. Possibly, I'm not sure. We could also just kind of ignore it for the moment. Fortunately, the Exocrines are causing problems, and they're still pretty far back. I also don't really have weapons that are super great at dealing with them, because we just have the uh, kind of more anti-infantry weapons on the Ludas here. I keep thinking Shooters, not Ludas, but... Yeah, whatever, they're orcs. Either one probably works. But I mean, I want this. Okay. You guys could move up if we do something. So I think we have yes, this squad boss. come Run up. Away. See if you can wipe out these termagants. Thank you. We might want to push a bit here. I can reach in close combat like the warriors there. Which isn't necessarily a terrible idea. But we'd want to take any shots further back first. And we could move these guys over so these guys could also charge up. We could have two close combat attacks on the warriors. Um, would probably be plenty to kill them. So at range. Looters have the best shooters! I mean, we could move up and take shots, but I'm only going to do, like, maximum, like, 180 damage to an Exocrine. So I'd need to have both of them shoot at the same target, and hope that I can take one out. Not the craziest thing well, in the world. If we have to, we'll move. That's my accuracy here. Only 65%. Yeah, we are at optimal range. Must be because somebody else is in the way, but they're not really in the way. Not particularly. Okay. Can I heal myself? No, I can't. Alright, never mind. Yeah, with the accuracy there, that's pretty bad. I don't know that I really want to go for that. Um, we do want to mop up the two Tyranid Warriors. But I could even use Gretchen for that, honestly. Like, we could charge out here like maniacs. I feel like that's not the worst thing I could do. Oh, you didn't get him. Three health left. Okay, I can't move by... I do have these other healthy Gretchen. I just don't have a path for them to advance. Let's do this. Is that going to help me get Ready out here? Not really, because these guys are in the way. Alright, fine. I might be throwing things away, just trying to finish off weak targets. But I'm going to start trying to be a bit more crazy here. Stick bomb on you guys. Target a stick bomb! Kill some of them. Or all of them. Excellent. No fucking about! Now you have a bit more of a clear path up. Yes, boss! Right away! So, yeah. Take you down. So we still have the other Tyranid Warrior. This one we're going to charge. But I mean, I want this. We can move you up as cannon fodder. I think we'll probably come over and stick bomb one of these guys. 
Let's go, lads! They both have the upgraded guns. Devourer. Devourer, yeah, they do. Sure. I got a step bomb! Just take them out. Excellent. Okay. So I do have guys sort of in the way here. But I did clear somebody. Theoretically, this will be a better if we shot. Have to, we'll move. So there's nobody in the way. So 65, still 65. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go for it. See what we can do. Okay, 87. Nowhere near what I needed. Unfortunate. I'm gonna kind of back off with these guys. Want to stay back a little bit at range. So, maybe what we do... Light these guys up, charge in, kill them, the other one moves in, shoots down the other warrior, we're kind of in their face. Because shooting him is not really going to do much, we'll do another 80 some odd damage. So let's soften the warriors a bit. By a bit, I mean a lot. Well, if we have to, we'll move. Kind of stay back. Okay, you're going to charge ahead. I'm not going to use my special ability yet. I'm just going to smash this guy in the face. So you're gone. Don't bother us! The other squad, we come up, we gun down the last Tyranid Warrior. So now we've got kind of tough guys out front. What? I can, we could get other Gretchen forward-ish. Yeah, I don't want to go adjacent to these guys because they can still attack me in close combat. We'll put you over here to sort of be in the way a little bit more. kind of the same, just fill out the line. I could actually get ahead, but he can't attack in close combat, so I don't really want to do that. Yeah, we're just kind of setting these guys up to maybe charge in and smack stuff in the face next time. So, you were hurt a little bit. The knobs are kind of the main thing I'm concerned about, keeping healthy and alive. Since I've if got a heal, so. let's go ahead and just use it here. This may sting a bit. Keep them all good. I'd like to move him up, but if I do, he's going to get shot at. If I stay back, I'm probably also going to get shot at, so I probably should just move up. Mainly we want to get extra health on the knobs here. Oh, she's best! Yeah, there's no real other positioning I can do. What's the plan? You can still move. Um, I'm actually going to duck them around the corner, just in case. Exocrines might try to shoot at them if they actually get bright. Ready as saw bugs. So here, we're pretty much within two tiles of everything. Probably means they're going to go for the pain boy, unfortunately. I'm just hoping that being behind these big hulking dudes gives me a little bit of cover. If also a little closer than so. some of these guys want to shoot at, but the like hive tyrant could just fly in and just smack the crap out of me. Um, which actually makes me think, let's look this way in case he comes here. But then he could just go there. What you gonna do? Yeah? Whoa! You guys, let's go ahead and just advance up to range. Actually, they probably want to be at two range as well. Maybe we back off. Yeah, and this will actually get me some health bonus here as well. Which is probably worth it. Okay, it's a bit messy, but <laughs> we have absolutely trashed a huge chunk of the Tyranid army already. Trigon's dead, Gene Stealers are all dead. Uh, all the Tyranid Warriors are dead, so we've actually done a pretty good job so far, but now the hard part's gonna begin. Still the Hive Tyrant out there, still the Exocrines out there. So it's, uh, 
Still gonna be rough. But we're actually doing pretty well. We might get two shots from the Exocrine here, but we're a little close, so he's probably just gonna back off and shoot at something. Probably my pain boy. My mouse wheel is still being goofy. Alright. Let's see what you're gonna do. Hive Tyrant's the main thing. Exocrines we can probably survive. Spawning some turbigants. Nope. Calling in a strike. That's unfortunate. Didn't lose anybody though, but I think my knobs and mega armor took some damage. Hive Tyrant's in an odd position. Did you just kill my pain boy? I think they just killed my pain boy. Yep, pain boy's dead. Die show that us! They wiped out that boy squad there like they were nothing. Man, that's not nice. Okay, Hive Tyrant going for Gretchen, so that's good. Losing the boys, kind of unfortunate. Losing the pain boy, figured it would probably happen, it's just unfortunate. Are you trying to protect the Exocrine? I think they might be trying to protect the Exocrine there. Kind of moving in position to go after the Ludas there. Okay, more Gretchen dead, unfortunately. And they're blocking my advance to the Exocrine. And shots at the Exocrine. That is really not nice. That's actually somewhat intelligent. You're poisoned. So I think we're probably going to have these guys are going to have to charge the Hive Tyrant. I don't really want to leave them there. We did lose a Luda. Positioning wise, we could move in freely and smack him without him being able to retaliate. So that's where I'm going to start. I use my ability, so it's a basic attack. It's still a lot of damage. Okay, so if we use our ability, I think we can kill him with the other guys. As long as we can make it into close combat. So that's what I'm going to do. Just take out the Hive Tyrant here. A tough one! So... Well, actually... We might... That might not be enough to kill him, so we do need to do a little bit to soften him up. Just so we don't actually take any retaliatory hits. Lutas have the best shooters. So let's move the Lutas up. The weak Lutas squad, we just need to do some damage. I don't know if it's going to be a better shot from over there. It's 60%. If I move, is that any better? 60. Nah, just light him up. Okay, that should be enough. What needs killing? We just hit him, kill him, no retaliation. Good deal. Oh, we got a surge too. Nice. Um, and I even have movement. Ooh. Moving closer to the scrap. Ooh. Exocrine. Let's get the counterattack back, but he's nearly dead, so we just need a little bit more attack power to finish him off. If I can get some shots back there. Probably the you guys. Gretchen can't really hurt him at all, which is sort of understandable. Yeah, I think the loot is really the only other thing. I may not have good accuracy here. I just need to land some shots, though. 73%. That's pretty good. Should be plenty. Nice. So one Exocrine is dead. 
Hive Tyrant is dead. Things are actually looking pretty good, honestly. Alright, you can't move. So we'll shoot at whatever we have the best percentage at, which is those guys. Not that they're really a threat. These guys back here are actually more of an issue, but we still have the boys. Who can do a really good job gunning them down. This squad's taking some poison damage. Let's come out over here. These guys have the upgraded guns. No, these guys just have the basic guns. Those guys have the upgraded guns. Okay. So maybe we just advance there. Shoot at them because they can actually do more damage. So we want to take some of those guns off the board. Boys here. So these guys do have the better weapons. Let's light them up. Okay, one left. <laughs> nice. Looters have the best shooters. Can't move. Can move. I can't get back into cover. The other extra gun's kind of around the corner, so actually coming over here isn't too bad. Uh, there's only one of these guys, so we can't really do that much damage back here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, geez, babe. Do I want to move you? Yeah, we're actually in really good shape here, as long as the Exocrine... I mean, even if the Exocrine hits these guys, he's maybe going to kill one of them, and we still have the other knobs as well to kind of chew through this Turvagon and then try to go for him. Uh, I'm going to stay here, I think. Maybe we'll move Let's go, there. Lads. I can kind of shoot either one, depending on, you know, where the threats are. We'll sort of watch that away. Yeah, going pretty well, actually. Surprisingly well. Poison, doing a lot of damage there, actually. Some Gretchen die from that poison. Shouldn't have done that! Okay, trying to get away, most of the die. They're continuing to focus on Gretchen, which is good. Hopefully the Exocrine also shoots at Gretchen. They'll probably shoot at the uh, knobs of Mega Armor, though. Yeah, he's trying to pick off weak squads here. That'll take them out. Who are you going to shoot at? It's got to be the knobs, right? Who threw that? Knocked him down, didn't kill him. Good job. We're just crazy tough. I do need to soften this guy up so we can just kind of one-shot him with them, though. So we'll probably use them to soften that target up. Uh, What do we have left? So one Gretchen squad, one boy squad for sort of expendable stuff. So you guys, I'm actually going to have you come back, because you have less firepower. Take this little guy out. Yeah? Whoa! Boys here. Oh, we've got a stick bomb. Wipe you guys. Nice. Let's advance. I'm not going to go past the corner because the Exocrine is there. Okay, boss. Alright, so. What's the plan? Uh, we even have our ability back. I could save it for the Exocrine. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, let's fire this off. No squad. <laughs> A couple hundred damage. I think you can kill Don't him. Bother us. So if we hit, minimum damage is 
130 damage, maximum's 180, so not quite enough. Alright, well, I'm gonna save this one's ability, so we'll just take regular shots. Still get a good chunk of damage. Now, that's a good Fear kill. So much for you. And we start running at the Exocrine, like complete crazy people. Oh, there's another little uh, termagant back there. I almost forgot about it. Okay, this squad... You just have the basic, yeah, the flesh borers, the really crappy basic guns. What needs killing? I mean, I could shoot the crap out of them, or we could go in and just smash them up in the face. Let's just smash them in the face. I feel like these guys have been waiting to smash things in the face for a little while. Nice job. Moving closer to the scrap. Also heading in towards the exocrine. Now we can move you guys. Who is at the best shooters? He is trying to use the building here. So I could kind of come back around on him. Because he doesn't really have anywhere to back up. I mean, he could go back here. I'm worried if we head out here that he's going to shoot me. So I'm not going to go we'll to the next spot. He shouldn't be able to shoot me here, but I've seen weirder stuff happen on maps. So I'm actually going to have these guys come down over here so we could maybe pop out and shoot on this side if he stays on this side. Meanwhile, we just have to pick off that last termagant, and then we're going to charge him with the knobs and mega armor. You're making us mad! Almost completely ineffective. Excellent. He's back and further away. There. That's going to be a bit tough to see, but we can maybe get some shots at the Ludas. Who threw that? Yeah, it's not enough. You're not going to survive. What's the plan? Okay. Well, if we have to, we'll, we'll move. We'll to take shots. Regardless of how bad the shot percentage is, we're still going to shoot. 66 honestly isn't bad. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot a crap ton then with the bonus. Nice. Third is health gone. The best I don't think we can reach him with the knobs and mega armor. They are kind of slow. Okay, not nearly as impressive with the second attack there. Right, so Gretchen, we'll move in on you. Guys, yeah, we can't reach him. I mean, I could get to him, but that would be about it. So we'll head in and shoot him. Still not bad damage guys will also yeah, helpful camera there um, let's go like here ish shoot oh we almost got him seven health left wow I might be able to kill him this turn We still have the boys here who can shoot a bunch. Gretchen, we're gonna execute this termagant. <laughs> Just like single pow. You're gone. Alright. Boy squad, we can use our ability to shoot more. I can actually get into optimal range. Yeah, I think you're doomed. Because even without using my ability, we're looking at, yeah, guaranteed damage. So let's go more damage. And die. Wow. Okay, uh, I didn't expect to do this on the first try. 
I thought it would be a little tougher than that, but we did take some pretty nasty casualties, but mostly the casualties were Gretchen and Boys, which are basically expendable units for the Orcs. The Pain Boy, unfortunate, but pretty standard kind of thing. Uh, the Knobs took a lot of damage there, but without them, there's no way you could do this. They're just dishing out such massive amounts of damage. Uh, the Ludas also did huge amounts of damage. I wish they would also show, like, not just how many units you killed, but maybe, like, damage amounts. Because I feel like the Ludas did a huge amount of damage there, softening up targets that the Knobs then killed off. Uh, Gretch, this one Gretchen squad that survived got three kills. That's crazy. Um, yeah, very, very impressive. Uh, so, yeah, that was a, a little challenge. So double the point value of Tyranids versus Orcs, Orcs win. So I will try this as well with the Necrons and see how we do. I did build a little a Necron army to try this. I feel like it might be harder with the Necrons. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I did have to play a little bit more cautiously and carefully as far as maintaining some distance, killing off those early units. This army probably... I feel like the Gene Stealers especially have probably been weakened over time. Like, I feel like they, they're weaker. Um, probably swapping out the point value for the Gene Stealers for something else would make this Tyranid army a bit more formidable, but it isn't bad. Like, when I play this Tyranid army, it does really good damage. Um, the Gene Stealers are just kind of there to sort of sneak around the flank and, you know, cause some issues, whereas most of the damage is being done by Tyranid warriors getting action after action, shooting stuff, and then getting uh, momentum, so get even more actions to shoot stuff. With the upgraded guns, they do quite well. But yeah, this has been more Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again next time. Until then, have a good one.